ladies, I am Tanya Cortez and welcome to the Foundation Channel. On this channel, I talk about everything complexion and how it relates to more mature skin. I do foundation reviews, foundation wear tests, foundation first impressions. I do some hauls and a couple little things in between. So if you like that kind of thing, please subscribe and follow me on Instagram at Tanya.Cortez. So guys, thank you so much for my new subscribers, for my old subscribers. I thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch my videos. You clearly could be doing something else, but thank you. But look, today I decided, look, I was going to try this foundation. I wanted to try it and I wasn't going to make a video on it because it's not a new foundation. It's been out for a long time. Um, so I didn't know whether I should do a video or not, but I said, you know what? Hey, I'll try it on camera and just show you guys too. You might be interested in it. So we're going to be looking at the Dior Backstage Air Flash Foundation. And I don't know what it is about Dior in this backstage line. I am here for it. I'm loving everything that's in this line. So I'm going to see if this is going to be the same situation because I don't know, y'all. I don't know. We can already try and see what we can already do to it. All right, guys. So if you guys want to see what this looks like on my mature skin, then stay tuned. Roll the credits. y'all let's get started so we are going to be playing with this dior backstage air flash foundation um it's not a new foundation you know it's new to me i wanted to try it you know i have been seeing it but i figured you know hey everybody i saw it on was like you know less than 25 or below you know so of course it was going to look beautiful on their skin so i said you know let me go ahead and try it. See, you know, they, they sending out all this PR and stuff to all these young girls with this beautiful skin that makes everything look beautiful. You know, let's 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 be real. Won't you send it to some of these mature skin women and really put these claims to the test? Let, let us put it on this more seasoned skin. And then, you know, we can tell you whether it's good or not. So this is what it looks like. It is a spray bottle, guys. If you've never seen it, it's a spray bottle. And I'm nervous. All right, guys. So I'm not sure if I want to spray this on my face. Just spray it. Or do I want to spray it, you know, on a brush and then put it on? I'm not sure. But I got the color 5N. All my Dior foundations, um, all of the Dior foundations I ever got was in 5N. So I'm hoping that this translates. Because um, I was debating whether I should get 4N. But I said, you know what? Let me get 5 because everything else is in five now. Let's see how this works out. All right, guys. So let me go ahead and give you all these vitals on this foundation. So it is $62. It's $62. It has 25 shades. And what it says, it's an ultra fluid water resistant foundation that blends full coverage with lightweight formula, providing airbrush perfection for up to 12 hours. It's full coverage. We ain't have full coverage on the channel in a minute, huh? Um, so I'm excited. Okay, so it's full coverage. It's radiant. Uh-oh. And it is for normal dry combination and oily skin. It says it is enriched with light diffusing pigments. The foundation smooths the look of skin and gives the complexion a radiant, perfected look that lasts all day. All right, it says it's water resistant. I'm skipping around. Um, and it is, okay, so it says it's ultra fluid and ultra fine texture allows for buildable custom coverage to suit any skin tone and any texture. Okay. So if you haven't been here before, of course, um, I have, of course, mature skin, but I have hyperpigmentation. I have textured skin. I have some raised moles. Um, I have some fine lines and wrinkles all that good stuff it didn't say nothing about smoothing out those pores or anything like that we like pore mattifiers on this channel but it didn't say anything about that so huh. and you know i'm just gonna put it on the skin and say i'm not gonna do a wear test i probably will another time but you know i will try it so it's a little ball in there Let's shake that up all right okay so we're gonna do the brush on this side sponge on this side i have um primer on my face. I have the Milk Hydra Grip on my face. I have on a light moisturizer because um, I didn't quite know how this was going to wear. I actually have on the CeraVe moisturizer. Um, 
So let's go ahead and try and see <laughs> whether I should go ahead and spray this or, ooh. Okay, so let's see. I'm gonna spray it. Should I try to spray it on my, <laughs> should I try to spray it on my face? Let me see. Hmm. Okay, so it looks like you probably had to spray it real, real light. But let's go ahead and let me just test this color. Ooh. All right, spray paint. Okay, so this is the color. That's the color. All right, so it, I don't know, it look, might look a little more orange, but let's go ahead and get this on the skin. I think I'm gonna spray it on the brush because my carpet is too light for that. So let's go ahead and try to see how this is gonna play out. All right, y'all, so let's get started. All right, guys, so this is the first layer. All right. All right, so this is the first layer. It does look a little radiant, right? It, it does, but I think the color is good. You know, I've been working on my skin, like, a lot. So I tried to use this new um, product, and it ended up giving me two new babies here, but and one right here and one over here. So I don't know if that's gonna work for me or whether I need to just keep using it so it gets rid of all the toxins. But, um, so this is the way the first little spray looks. So if you got really pretty skin or you don't really have a whole bunch of texture on your skin, you probably could leave it right here and be good, you know, because it's, it did cover. It did cover a lot. It covered a lot of the hyperpigmentation here it is very, very radiant though. It is. So let's go ahead and now with this, it's like I needed like two sprays or something, like two sprays to do this side of my face. So let's, um, and you know, I can already tell. So this is what it looks like. All right, so let's go ahead and do the sponge. You're a touch of rain, empty in the night. It was my surprise. I always like this side more because it always has it has less texture, less raised moles. So it always looks a little smoother than the other side. But this is this side. All right. So like I said, you could probably leave it right here. You could probably leave it right here if you, you know, like a more thin, natural look. You can leave it here, but it is pretty radiant, but it is actually pretty. It is actually pretty. All right, so let's go ahead and um, build it up. Now, listen, I can already tell though that you will go through a lot of this like quickly. You know, if you, I mean, because it seems like most of the spray gets in the air or something. So I'm gonna spray it on my hand so you guys can see what it looks like when it's sprayed. You see what I mean? And this is how much I got out of all that spray, right? So I think I'm gonna just, I'm going in. <laughs> all 
All right, guys. <clears throat> so here's this side. Okay, so let's go ahead and build up the other side. Ooh. All right, y'all, so that's this side. All right, so let's go ahead and do that light test. Turn these lights down. All right, so here's the light test. Guys, this is pretty radiant on the skin. This is pretty radiant. I don't use the sponge. But yeah, so this is the brush side. This is the sponge side. I'm gonna go ahead and take the sponge across it um, and see. Guys, this is pretty radiant. All right, so that's what it looks like on that side and this side. Hmm. All right, so that's with the lights off. What do you guys think? Pretty. Let's come in on that texture. Um, it doesn't look too bad on the texture. It's not accenting it as of right now. It actually just seems like it kind of filled in the pores or something. Yeah, this is the side. Yeah, I think if you like a, a radiant, really radiant foundation, I think that you would really, really like this. Um, but of course, you guys know me. I would, I'm would. i definitely going to powder it. But if you don't like to powder your foundations and you kind of like them to, you know, I think this is this will be really, really good for you. All right. So, guys, I did set it. And I put on um, some lip gloss. I'm not going anywhere but to wash this off. So... I didn't really put on too much. I just put on a little bit of this LYS cream blush, but not a whole lot. Um, but guys, this is pretty. What do you think? I like this a lot. And I, you know, I even think that you could probably build this up even more. If you have oily skin, you're probably gonna be really, really oily <laughs> if you do that. But if you um, just use it here, I think this is, really nice but you know if you don't have i think the texture it looks good on texture um i think mature skin women can wear this easily you know even with i don't know this is just how it looks on my skin everybody has their own skin and you know their own skin concerns so i'm not sure how it will wear on yours i'm not even sure how it wear on mine this is just a first impression but you know just the first impression it looks really nice. I do believe that I would set this with a setting spray too, because I would be nervous because I wouldn't want to douse this with powder either because then I take it takes away from the prettiness of it. So I just wanted to try this and I just wanted to try it on camera with y'all to see what y'all thought about it. Um, it almost looks like when I'm looking in a regular mirror, it almost looks like I don't have any foundation. Well, yes, let me stop playing. It does look like I have on foundation, but it doesn't like look really cakey or anything like that. It looks really, really natural um, on the skin. So I do like that, guys. I think this is, might be a good buy. So that's it. This is my first impression on this Dior Air Flash Spray Foundation. I just wanted to come on and try it um, with you guys on camera. Thank you guys so much for watching. I so appreciate the time you take to watch my videos. Y'all could be doing something totally different, but y'all decide to come over here and spend a little bit of time with me and I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. And remember, stay safe. Bye.